What's going on guys? Back at it again with a brand new ESO series here on the channel. This is going to be a different series than I normally do here on the channel, but it's a series that I wanted to do since I started playing ESO uh, casually on top of for the channel, right? Because I do play this game on my own quite a bit. Uh, just for the record though, before I get into it, this intro is going to be longer than normal because it's going to serve two purposes. It's going to be the intro for this specific video and this specific dungeon. On top of that, it's also going to be the intro for this series. So you all are always welcome to skip the intro if you guys would like, but it's good to hear it just, to, just so that you can get a feel of what to expect here on this series. But with that being said, if it's not already obvious, I am, uh, an Imperial DK, uh, and I'm going to be tanking, at least that's the goal for this series. I'm going to be tanking every single dungeon uh, uh, and playing with people from my guild. So, of course, if you guys want to know what guild that is, that is Tamriel Armistice on PCNA. So, if that's something you guys would like to do, you guys are more than welcome to join and potentially even play with me here on the channel in a dungeon or anything like that. Uh... But of course, you're going to have to be a part of the uh, the guild and the Discord. So the Discord is definitely going to be down in the description down below for those of you guys who are interested. But with that being said, for this specific video, we are going to be doing Fungal Grotto 1. Uh, and just so you know too, all four of the initial first videos that I'm doing here on this series, I'm recording on one sit down, which is Fungal Grotto 1, Fungal Grotto 2, Spindle Clutch 1, and Spindle Clutch 2. I'm filming on the same day. However, I'm going to stagger them so it's not Fungal Grotto 1 and 2 sequentially releasing after another, right? So it's going to be uh, Fungal Grotto 1, then Spindle Clutch 1, then Fungal 2, then Spindle 2. And that's the goal for, for that for now. But yeah, I'm very excited to get started on this, guys. This is the series I've been wanting to get started on for a very long time. We're going to be essentially getting the story for each and every single dungeon. However, just getting the the the, the quest information by itself is a little simplistic in nature, especially on the first few dungeons, since they're base game and they're very easy. So I wanted to introduce, to introduce a little bit of a challenge, and we're going to be going through every single dungeon in veteran mode, and sometimes hard mode, um, depending on the dungeon depending on how we feel of course but um that's a that's something i can't promise though that's the goal right the goal is to do everything in veteran mode or, or on veteran but some dungeons and let's be real guys some dungeons are very hard especially the dlc dungeons so i'm not 100 percent sure uh if we're gonna be able to do every single video or every single dungeon in this series uh on veteran mode but that's the goal uh, just so that we're clear, if you guys see me running a dungeon that's not veteran, that's probably why it was probably too difficult for us to complete. But it really just depends on uh, collaboratively our skill set, right? So maybe we'll be able to do it, maybe not. But on top of that, it's not going to be just for dungeons in terms of like, uh, like queued up dungeons or anything like that. I do want to add like some of the public dungeons in this uh in this mode too those are a lot easier so there's not really going to be much of a challenge but i do want to add those to this specific series so it should be interesting to say the least so if you guys are excited for this video or this series again we're doing fungal grotto one for this one do me a huge favor drop a like on this video also subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed because it really does help this channel grow so with that being said enough yapping for me guys let's go ahead and jump right into this <laughs> Starting off with an NPC, so while you guys are loading in, I'm gonna Who's talk to there? this NPC. You're not part of my expedition. Interesting. Oh, everyone's this wearing This is no gold. random chance. I believe you're the answer to our problem. What problem? Oh, these We're searching these caverns for a sacred shrine that's been lost for ages. Our problem is that dreg and goblins are overrunning the place. Goblins are slow-witted. If you kill their chieftain, they must accept you as their leader. What then? Stick the chieftain's head on a spike somewhere the whole tribe can see. Then lead them to attack the dreg. Once the dreg's king is dead, we'll be free to explore. And to reward you handsomely, of course. 
I'll kill I'll kill both of their leaders. Goblins are pathetic beasts, but they have their uses. Uh who are you people? We follow the ways of the Kaima, not the false gods of the tribunal. We're servants of the web spinner who Vivek usurped. Dunma, Goblin, or Dreg were all caught in the strands of the spider's web. So then what is the shrine that you're looking for? I'm sworn to secrecy by my order, but rest assured, our cause is just. Clear our path into the caverns and you'll be rewarded. That's all you need to know, and all that I'm permitted to discuss. I'd like to know what I'm getting myself into, please. If you don't think the reward is worth the risk, perhaps you should leave. Well, she's an ass. Goodbye. Alright, you guys ready? Yep. Yeah. All right. Yeah, she's 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 a typical dark elf. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Gotta stab this. Oh, I missed that vampire. Alrighty. Starting off well. I really hate that there's no AoE taunt besides from a gear. That's true. Unless you're a werewolf. Oh, I didn't even see these guys down here. I love, I love the dungeon system in this game, man. Alright, first boss. Maximus Decimus Invictus is ready for war. <laughs> Wake your little ass up. Dude, you get your ultimate really fast. Yeah, money vampire lord and all you miss. Also got a uh, fighter skill on my heart for even more. Gotcha. Swarming, uh, swarming Scion is such a cool morph, man. I like that. It's my, it's my preferred. Yeah, I tried the other one before. This seems pointless. It's, it, it's good if you're running like just high DPS. I think. I'm not a hundred percent sure on that, but. I'm Pretty sure because because you don't get any uh, any debuffs from being a scion or being a uh, vampire. I mean, maybe if I had any more uh, that uh, ultimate would turn into a Maybe. Maybe I tried one of these days for one in salts plus a vampire. Door. It gives enough to make it worth it. Ow! He hit me. Oh, dude, I, I love that punch. Dunzo. Yeah, dude, so... Us as... 
Hold on, we have a quest thing here. I, I don't even remember doing this. Um, head spike? Use? <laughs> oh my god, dude! <laughs> we just mounted the, the skull of the of the dude we just killed up there, I think. That was dope. That's metal F. It is. <laughs> And as a fellow, as a metalhead myself, I love it. <clears throat> the, these guys sound very weird running all they're doing is like giggling at us. It's like, dude, shut up. Crap, dude, I jumped down and I didn't realize there was more enemies. <clears throat> My bad. Wait for you up here. Oh, he's, he's, he's still up here. Assault is coming in clutch. So I think. Uh, uh, I don't know. Hold on. Yeah, let's let's go with these guys first. Come on, proc powerful assault. Wardens are fun, I like wardens. Look at these guys fighting. There we go, we got powerful assault. I do this weird thing where, like, I'll taunt with my Frost Staff, and then I'll get close and I'll taunt again, but this time with my, uh, Sword and Board, because of, uh, they both have, like, different benefits, you know? I don't do it necessarily for the taunt, I do it for the, uh, for everything else that comes with it. I usually do the same thing on my other thing, but the not on my natural enemies, where they all just give me, uh, the Sword and Board gifts. Yeah, for sure. Where'd he go? There he is. Dude, those... I love the day drop, man. Yeah, that's a uh, swarm and scion. This dungeon really didn't have that many uh, NPCs to talk to, huh? Yeah. 
That attack oh. does a lot of damage. <laughs> I died. Yeah. Yeah, that does. Yeah, I did. I did. Yeah, this, that attack on on Vet really does a lot of damage. Ow. Nice try, big boy. Oh. No, he still got me. Does anybody need the croc visage? I only got the heavy. Let me know if you need any of them. No, I got I got everything. I'm just wondering for you guys. No. I picked it up if you guys are gonna need it for anything. But let me go let me go talk to this NPC to finish this quest. Hello, Villa. Unbelievable. We spent years searching for the spinner's shrine. And these filthy creatures have been sitting right on top of it all along. Uh, the cabins are safe now. Yes, you've done as we agreed. Take this for your work. Now you will leave. Immediately. The secret of the Spinner's Shrine are not for outsiders. She's so mean, dude. <laughs> Alright, complete quest. Oh, of course. Why, why am I not surprised? Yes. Yeah. Secret Oops. to Spinner's currency. Besides, this shrine contains privileged information your dull mind would not comprehend. Have I made myself clear? Your services are no longer required. Yep, loud and clear. See you later, lady. Awesome. Look at Cyber dancing. Yeah, well, the character's dance is so stupid. <laughs> Good job, guys. Good job. <laughs> 